How's it going, everybody? This has got to transform them all. Today I have my breakthrough pre-release recap, and there's some very, very exciting stuff to go through here. Uh, you're definitely going to want to watch the ending, especially, because, uh, well, let's just say it's going to be very, very nice. Uh, but, first of all, uh, pre-release. Uh, overall, I was very, I was happy with it. Uh, as far as the tournament goes, not so much. I went one in three. And the only reason I think I really won the uh, last game I had was because the, my opponent only had Glalie EX in his deck. And because he kept mulliganing, I, ke I got to draw an extra six cards and that allowed me to fill up my bench nicely. Because <laughs> if I didn't have those Pokemon, I would have lost by just simply not having a Pokemon on my bench. Uh, which is pretty much what happened the first three games. So, yeah, that was pretty nice that I at least got to win one game. Uh, but uh, let's, I don't know where to start off, but uh, I'll start off with the promo. So this is the uh, pre-release promo. It is the Chestnut Hollow. Uh, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a hollow in the actual set, but it's a different artwork here. And this one is a promo, XOI number 68. Is a very awesome looking promo, and you got the uh, set logo there, which kind of indicates it's a, it's a pre-release promo. Uh, that you got through the pre-release for that set. Uh, fun little fact, that's one way to tell if it's a pre-release promo. <laughs> uh, it comes with the set name on the card. Uh, also, we have the two bonus packs right here uh, that I had at the end of the game, and we'll open those up at the end of the video. Uh, but first, I will show you guys my deck. This is not in any order, and of course, the energy cards are taken out. Uh, so we had a Teddy Ursa, Doduo. I didn't end up using most of these cards because I just never drew them or they just kind of sat on my bench, uh, Simi Sage, or never got to evolve them because I didn't get the pre-evolution or the evolution. Hippopotas uh, kind of helped at the first game in stalling my opponent's Snorlax, <laughs> uh, but obviously not so much because uh, I did lose that one. Uh, so Mystery Vest, Swoobat, Assault Vest. Never drew this at all, so that was handy in the deck. <laughs> uh, Heavy Ball, the one game I got to use this, uh, and the only Pokemon that it was good for was the Hippopotas. Unfortunately, the one game I used Heavy Ball, Hippopotas was in my prize pool, so a lot of good that did me. <laughs> Basically, I searched my deck, and there just is no Pokemon for me to use it with. Uh, we have a Cacturn, Professor's Letter, and the reverse of it. I was very happy to get two of those because uh, you get to search your deck for basic energy with those. Also got a rainbow energy, which came in sort of handy. I mean, not really because I kept drawing a bunch of energies on top of that card. Uh, we have a hollow Meloetta. I believe the only hollow I pulled out of the six packs. Uh, Cacnea, Pansage, Woobat, Frogadier, and Froakie. And Cubone. This is the most depressing artwork. <laughs> like, it looks so happy, but when you think about it, like, there's kids and their parents behind Cubone there, and Cubone is just hugging the bone. Like, it's missing its mommy. If you know the story of Cubone, like, basically, when its mother dies, it picks up the skull of its mother and puts it on its head. And as far as I'm concerned, it's safe to say the bone it carries is also a bone from the mother. So it's basically hugging the bone missing its mother while everyone else is having fun with their parents that is just so dark and depressing and what looks like a fun card <laughs> just that is i don't even know what to say about that pokemon that's just dark <laughs> and sad uh but i really i like the second i saw this card in all of the uh wake run collapse japanese openings i knew i needed to make a mention of that uh the first time i had it on camera for the english so stuff uh, so that's the deck I had. Uh, I also have all these other cards here, which are in number order, because I have in between games I have time to just kind of do whatever, and I like to number order my cards. Uh, we have code, we have a few code cards here, I think. Uh, six, obviously. And I'll be nice, and I'll give you guys one. You can pause and grab it if you want it. Obviously, those are not active yet, because uh, the set is not officially released. But make sure to come back and grab it when you want it. Uh, hopefully you're the first to get it. Uh, so here we have a Chespin, Quilladin, Reverse Hollow, 
Didn't get any rare reverses and only one hollow, but we did get one really, really nice card uh, that will be in here, and you can kind of see poking it out the side there. Uh, then we have the regular Quilladin, Scatterbug, Spoopa, Cyndaquil, Reverse Hollow Quilava, Fennekin and Bryxon, Reverse Hollow Goldeen, and the regular version, Remoraid, Snover, Vanillite, and Vanillish. Pikachu, Magnemite, and, oh, one more card, Hunter, and Mega Mewtwo Y, EX. So I, like, the one goal for my uh, pre-release for me was to get a break card at the very least. This is uh, probably a little bit better than the break cards, really, because uh, it is an ultra rare, and I don't know what kind of rarity the break cards are, especially since they kind of come in the reverse holo slot instead of the, like, actual rare slot. So, supposedly you might be able to get a break card and an ultra rare in a single pack, but I don't know if anyone's actually managed to do that yet. Uh, it would be very awesome for that person, I'm sure, if they managed to do that. Uh, I did not get any break cards, unfortunately, but uh, this is more than enough. Just get a, getting a ultra rare is just wonderful. Uh, just because pre-releases, as far as I'm concerned, is kind of like the best chance to get Ultra Rares because the packs you're given come directly from booster boxes, and booster boxes have the best, like, amount of good stuff in them because they're kind of like, basically 1 in 12 is a hollow, or not, <laughs> like 1 in 3 out of the box is a hollow or better, and you should get about 12 hollows or better. Uh, obviously, depending on your luck, you might get a lot more Ultra Rares than Hollows. Uh, but yeah, then we have Pillowswine, Zorua, NK, Bronzong, Mr. Mime, Snubble, Ralts with another. This has to go with the Ralts from uh, Ancient Origins, because it just seems like the same kind of style artwork and darkness with the light shining in. Like, I don't know what's up with that or where that Ralts is, but he needs to be rescued. Uh, we have a full of Bebe, Spritzy, Axu, Fracture, Doduo Reverse. And the regular version, Hoot Hoot, Staravia, Staraptor. Didn't get a Starly to use those in the deck, or I would have, because they're colorless energy to use all of them. Uh, Rufflet, Floatstone Reverse, very, very happy for that one, just because I'm sure that'll be a popular trainer uh, as a Reverse Hollow. Then we have Houndoom and Mewtwo Spirit Links and the special Burning Energy. So those are all of the cards I got between my deck and the six packs. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else to say other than to open up the packs. And I'm super, super happy and hopeful that maybe we can get something out of one of them. Uh, here, here, start off with a Mega Houndoom. And hope to get lucky. Right, well, it looks like the code cards are backwards. Uh, so, there's a code card for you guys once again. Pause and grab it if you want it. Uh, obviously, you'll probably have to come back to get that, since it's more than likely not active yet. Of course, once it is, uh, come back and grab it, and hopefully you can get lucky. So here we have a Scatterbug, Ralts, Pansage, Hippopotas, Piplup. Okay, there we go. I was like, I, I have all these commons already. That's a little sad. Uh, but there's a new one, Piplup. Giovanni's Schemes, uh, or Scheme, awesome. Very interesting card, allowing you to choose one ability to use. Uh, but that is a new one right there. Ursaring, also a new one. And Fisherman, very, very happy with that pack, just with the uncommons. Uh, the Reverse Hollow. Ooh. Burning Energy. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> I love the Energy Reverse Hollows just because of the way it looks in the card. Very, very cool. Uh, and the Rare card. A bomb of snow. So just a non hollow rare that could have gone with the uh, Snover I pulled out of the six packs. <coughs> Excuse me, I uh, did a lot of talking today, so just my throat's kind of sore. But we got one more pack, Mega Mewtwo Y on it, and hmm. you know what, guys? I'm not going to open this one right now. Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this pack right here to all of these. Oh dear, that is not what I want to do. I am going to add it to all of those. 
So yeah, that is a thing that is coming, guys. If you've been paying attention to my description, you kind of know uh, I've been planning something. And there it is. My big pack opening. It is happening. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. I will I'll hopefully have another like announcement kind of video planning and explaining what I'm going to do with all this. So stay tuned for that later today. Have a great day.